everybody welcome back to my channel anybody that's new welcome so today we are going to make a jenga block church i didn't count the total blocks yet as i do um pre-glue some of the pieces together as we go along so this video is not two hours we're going to be using the tumbling tower game aka jenga blocks from dollar tree it's the older blocks the blue ones and the newer blocks that are in the brown packaging you can find them in the kids aisle uh, sometimes they have them on the end caps of the aisles uh, if you don't find them in your store maybe ask the manager or an associate i know um, dollartree.com website in the u.s if you're a u.s citizen you can order them to your local store for free not all stores are included but you can also sign up for dollar trees newsletter and every once in a while they do send, email you uh, 50 percent off shipping directly to your home i'm gonna use uh l shape i call it l shape or carpenter ruler it is found in dt in the hardware section it's good to use a ruler when you are gluing the blocks together it just makes the blocks nice and straight as you're gluing them along depending on the um, I call them ones when I glue them flat like that, that they're just the thin side where you glue them. And when I say stacked, I just mean turning it the opposite other way and putting the glue on the wider part and gluing them like that. I did start saying stacked and flat a bunch of videos ago. So when I say stacked or flat, that's what I mean. And this would be stacked. Now, I only recommend using wood glue. I use Wellbond, it's just my preference. I would not suggest using any other glue, not even hot glue, because when you use hot glue, it doesn't seal the blocks properly, and you will have uh, a gap in between, and sometimes they have the little um, uh, hot glue hairs that will be sticking out, and it doesn't last long term. If you're going to put the time and effort to make a nice craft, you want to use uh, some good uh, good glue that will um, keep your your stuff glued together and not fall apart. And that's, I know a lot of people were using, some people say to use hot glue and well bond or wood glue because they're impatient. Um, I just think that putting, like I said, the glue doesn't seal properly. And if you touch the hot glue and whatever else glue that you use, like any other wood glue and hot glue, if they touch each other, it won't dry. This one's from DT. Thank you, Terry. She sent me a bottle. I um, haven't used it yet. Uh, I am going to use Wellbond because this is a bigger build and I'm not sure if this will be enough glue to use. So I don't want to be mixing my glues. I will use um, this one once, uh, once I have a smaller build. Thanks again, Terry, for sending me one. And here in Canada, we don't have this glue at DT, so she did send me a bottle of it. Now, I buy the bigger bottle because the mills are 420 and the smaller bottle is 160, and you get double the amount. For a couple dollars more, you get a double amount plus some. So always get, I keep the, I use my little bottle. It's just easier to hold than holding the bigger bottle, and I just keep pouring it in there as I go along to glue my blocks together. Now we're gonna glue this in sections and then we're gonna time it a bit. Now, I always say my builds, I always like to leave stuff. So sometimes I'll leave it overnight, I'll leave it for a couple hours. Even though your directions might say uh, drying time up till an hour, you can, but sometimes the blocks will slip and it won't dry straight. And especially if you're moving stuff around and adding and gluing and stuff like that. Um, I would suggest just being patient, work on another craft, do another of my Jingle Block builds, do someone else's craft. Uh, having two projects to go, especially with this big build. Now we're going to start with, I'm just going to hide this here. This is going to be the back piece of the church so we're going to do on the bottom part we're going to build the bottom part there's going to be no base under it we're going to put it on something at the very end but we're just going to do the round piece so we're going to start off with flat and we're going to do a row of 11. 
another row of 11, and another row of 11, and that's 33. You're gonna need two of those. So we're gonna do the front and the back. Now at the end of the video, once I go along as I'm counting them to you, I will tell you at the very end and I'll add them all up near the, when we're finished gluing it all together. The next one we're gonna do is the sides. So we have the front and the back. So we're gonna need some sides to go in between here. And we're gonna do stacked. So right, this amount right here is eight. I'm gonna show you. There's eight blocks stacked. I'm gonna do another eight blocks and another eight blocks. And the total for that is sorry, eight, 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 24. So you got 24 blocks in total here. And you're gonna need two of these. So I have another one right here. We are gonna now take some glue. I'm gonna do this off camera because, and then I'm gonna leave it for about a half an hour. So you're gonna stick some glue on both sides. You're gonna stick on the inside, not the outside, on the inside. And you're gonna stick this one and do the same thing with the glue on that side and this side. Then you're just gonna push it right along there. And you don't need any clamps or anything. And then you're just gonna let it sit. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a top on it. So that's gonna be the start of the um, roof. Now we are gonna do two different roofs. So you're gonna need, we're gonna do flat and we're gonna have a row of 12 and another row of 12. So that's 24. And we're just gonna stick some glue right along the top here and place this on centered. So it is a little bit longer on both sides and just a little bit at the back and the front, just put it centered right on. Now we're gonna start building the roof like on a peak. And so we had the 12 that I told you, the 12 and 12, so that was the 24. Now we're gonna do 11 and 11, that's 22. And we're gonna place it right in the middle. Make sure it's even in the front, don't worry so much about the back, even in the front. And you'll see it's more like a stairs we're gonna try to do on each side. That was 11. Then we're gonna do 10 and 10, that's 20. We're gonna keep just piling these on. That's why the, the sides we did were stacked. So, so it gives it a little bit more um, strength because we're doing a tall build. The next one is nine. So nine and nine. And they're gonna place that right in the middle. Next row is eight and eight. Place that right in the center. And the next row is seven and seven. And you're gonna place that. So you're gonna glue all those blocks down. All right, we have this so far. Now we're gonna put a column on this strip here in the back. Oh my God, I missed my paper over here. So we're gonna do a row of three, flat, another row of three, and another row of three, and that's nine. We're gonna need two pieces. Then we're gonna do a row of four, another row of four, and another row of four, and that's 12, and we need two pieces. And then we are going to glue them, this being the front, And we're gonna glue it just you're gonna glue it just like that. So make sure that the width is only only the three on the side and that you don't do it the opposite where the four is on the side. The three on the side and like that. You don't want it too thick because it has to sit 
right on the back here. So now we are going to do the placement of the, we're going to talk, call it the top part of the column of the church. We're going to place that right in the middle on the back part in this strip. And it's going to be even that you're just going to have a little bit of either side sticking out. I'm going to glue that right on top. Once we do that, we're going to continue building. Actually, I'm just going to put it down like that. Hopefully it's even. We're gonna continue building this part of the roof. <clears throat> now we are gonna start off with six flat. Then we are gonna do five flat, four flat. You're just gonna glue that on. <coughs> Here it is sunk a little bit, but we want to make sure it's even with the, the front part that's already glued. So you're going to make sure that it comes up a little bit so it's even, so it's nice and even when you paint it. Three, two, and one. And you're going to glue that all on. Now that I have that glued on, I don't want to turn it sideways to show you. So on the top part of the column of the church, we're gonna do another roof on top of there. And we're gonna do the same idea. And we're gonna start off with six flat. And I'm just gonna bring it here. So it is gonna hang over just like the other ones. And I'm just, I'm glad that one, actually we can just turn that upside down. If you notice here, when you glue, the ruler is straight here. Always try to put this the flatter part facing forward where your craft is gonna be shown. So at least when it's uneven, you see it on the back, not on the front. I'm gonna place that over, it's gonna hang over the side. We're gonna do five, place that right on top. And then we are gonna do four. We're gonna add that right there, right in the center. And I'm gonna stop at three because I have something that I'll show you later that I wanna sit and that I need three as the base. But if you're gonna use a Jenga block, and I will show you that later, cross. I'm gonna use a different cross, not a Jenga block cross, but if you use a Jenga block cross, you can actually just add two more blocks and one more to make the peak and add the Jenga block cross. I will show you that after, but I am gonna stop at three for the cross I have that I got from Dollar Tree. But I'm gonna glue that on and then show you it upright. I am gonna leave this overnight to fully dry before I start messing and moving things around just to make sure everything's glued properly down. All right, so I left it overnight to dry. It's nice and solid. Um, I want to do some spackle on this one just with the painting because you will get some little holes sometime little cracks in there and with spackling now this is just from rona slash lowe's it's just spackling for the wall it's supposed to be pink but i guess uh it got still a little it's still wet usually when it's white it's dry so it's not fully dry yet dt does sell spackling i've had um some crafters tell me that they have uh the one from DT in the automotive section. And, and it just fills in the cracks nicely. I'm just gonna go through so that we get a nice even coat. And because the grooves are not really big, it doesn't take time to dry. Usually when it's pink, you'll know when it's dry. And I'll probably just put do the rest of it just on the front here and the top and let it dry for about a half an hour. And then we will use a buffer. I just got a nail buffer. I do have the bigger ones from Dollar Tree. I just don't have them right now. They just come the big blackish gray one that you can just sand off. It sands off. It does get a little dusty. So be mindful of that. And then we're going to paint it uh, whatever color you want. I am going to paint it white. All right, so I did four coats of paint all the way around. It turned well. I wanted to stress it, so I'm going to use some gray. I had some, uh, I mixed some white with a little bit of black in it to get a gray. DT has these paint brushes, uh, three, three in a pack, and I'm not really good at doing this, but I guess I'm going to find out. 
and I don't want to put too much, but I just want to kind of go all the way around with the gray. And the best thing is if you put too much, too much of the gray on it, you can go right over again with another brush with just a little bit of white. I'm just going to go over, keep doing that. I'm not going to focus anything on the roof. Uh, I will do the front here and the sides, but on the sides here and up top here and here, even in the back side of the roof, I'm not going to do, but I am going to do all of it. So it turned out pretty good. Um, next thing we're going to do is the roof. So I want to make it more prominent and I'm going to do it black and you can do it any color you want. I just took a ruler right at the point and did it to the corner of the edge here and the same edge here. I will paint the front along the stepping sides, along here, and in the back, I am just gonna paint it black right there, black on the back, but I will do the same thing with the peak and the same idea right here. I need to straighten that line out and do that more of a peak. Now, if we do, if you're just gonna make a Jenga block cross, and I'll show you that after, I have a different cross from Dollar Tree. You can do, it was three blocks, two blocks, one block, and then you can put the cross on, I'll show you that after. You're gonna do the same peak like this as opposed to on the third line. All right, so now I wanna do the top part. So this cross is from Dollar Tree. I got it a while ago. Um, I'll have to get a blow dryer to do. I don't know if this will all come off, but by the back of it there, it looks like some of it's not gonna come off. Um, I'm gonna add more white to the top part just of the cross and the bottom part here, I am just gonna paint it black and then it fits perfect right on top of the church. Now, if you don't wanna do, um, if you don't wanna find one of these, I think they have the also the wood ones that light up at Dollar Tree. Uh, inside it's like doubled and in between there's a tea light. That would fit perfect right on top of the church, I think, as well. But you could put a Jenga block, two Jenga blocks here and another two. That's it if you want to do the top with an extra two Jenga blocks, one Jenga block, and it would fit right on top as well. But I am going to go with this one. And I am going to paint that and then I am going to glue it on top. So while the cross is gluing on, because I used Well Bond just because it's made of stone, I guess, so to speak, it's a little bit heavier. I didn't want to use hot glue. Um, I found these stickers today at Dollar Tree, and I think they're super neat and cool. They're called like puffy stickers. I think they would be really good for windows and kind of having a, it's not really stained glass, but uh, the colorful kind anyways, but I thought they were really good. I bought two packs only because I wanted doubles. Now on the bottom part of the, I don't know if I can move it here. I'm going to hold it down because I don't want it to fall. On the bottom part here where the peak is, I think I'm going to use this one. And when I place it on, it's going to be the top and the bottom upright, just a little bit lower on the peak. And I think these ones or these ones can be for windows. So you could do that. I got to hold it on here on the side here. And my cross is shifting. You could use all these ones and then just match them up to the same side. So you could put them at the top of the part of the church and the bottom part for windows. I am going to use, I think, these ones or these ones. Depends when I get to it. Um, I'm going to play around and see which ones I like better for windows in the front on either side of the door. Now, I found this door that I got like this and I got this little piece. I had a little welcome mat and a little tiny um, ladder that I got from Dollarama. And I got those last year. They don't carry them. I haven't seen them at least uh, recently, but I've had them in stock. I'm going to just paint it black and put a little knob on it, like a little pebble, uh, probably just a little silver pebble for a handle. 
I am not going to use this, but you can also paint it on as well. If you can't find those stickers and you just want to go the easy route, DT has these chalkboard stickers, which these as well can make really good windows if you just want to do plain black. I'm just going to play around with those stickers and get them on and I'm going to paint the door. We are going to put some stairs, I think, in front of the church and then we're going to move on to the base. So now we're going to build a base, um, not build one, we're going to add a base to the church. So the total amount for the blocks just for the church was 351. I'm going to add 11, bo 11 blocks for the stairs. Now there's different bases you could use. This is from Dollar Tree. The only thing is if you use a base like this, do um, put some little extra screws or nails or some even glue on the inside, depending on which side you want to use it just because there's an opening and just because of the weight of the church. Also, I'm gonna use this one. Now this is an artist panel canvas, it's just wood from Dollarama. Now I know I've seen in some of the craft groups that you can buy these kind of wood can canvases at Dollar Tree, but in the plus section, this is just an eight by 10 board. I'm gonna use that one and I painted it white already. I just didn't, we're going to be covering it, so I just did a quick coat of white on it, and we're going to glue it right down. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to keep about an inch and a half from the back, and I'm going to place it sideways to place it on. When I do put the church on, um, I'm going to show you from the side view. I haven't done the the door yet so this is the door because the door is going to sit on top of the stairs now you're going to get do a row of six and it's going to be flat then you're going to do a row of five oops i'm going to keep that and two just one on top of each other and you're just going to put this at the back of the row of six glue it together and then you're just going to glue this right on so it kind of looks like stairs going down on the side and the front and then i'm just going to glue that right against the church on the bottom i am going to paint it gray so i'm going to mix some uh, black and white paint and then once i do that i'm just going to glue the door right back onto the church right on top of that while I have it glued on, I'm just going to show you right here. This part right here, I didn't use those stickers I showed you earlier. I did find um, a garland just like this. I just wrapped it in a circle. This is not from DT, but I'm sure um, you'd be able to find something like that. And then it's totally up to you what you want to put there. I just wrapped it in a circle, added a little bow, and I'm going to just hot glue that on the front there. In the front, I just wanted some rocks right here. And with the rocks, I just use some, I'm gonna use the matte one. I only have this one right beside me right now. I got the gloss one, but I'm just gonna use some Mod Podge and just put a good coat down and I'm gonna throw some DT rocks. My package is falling apart. I'm gonna pick out the bigger rocks that are in there. I wanna keep them small. I don't wanna make it really heavy. So I will take all the bigger rocks out and just glue them on there with Mod Podge. And then the rest just to add some color to it. I'm just gonna use some reindeer. I'm gonna cut it down, just use it scissor, some scissors to make it a lot small, smaller and just glue it around the sides and around the back. All right guys, so here it is, all done. I went all the way around. I do have a little spot I'm gonna touch up there with paint. It lifted a little bit. The door, you can check on Timu, wood cutout door, I think it comes with fairy doors. Just make sure the measurement that it's not too small. For 361 blocks is the total for this build and it goes up to 22 inches high and i'm just gonna i have it on the lazy susan so i just put a couple of the stickers on side of the of the church and i did the matching ones on the other side as well 
If you guys ever have any questions or you want a closer view, you can always find my page on social media, Instagram, Facebook, um, and get a better view just with, uh, if I zoom out too much, it's going to go far away just because it is a bigger build, but you can get a close up view on my pages. If you have any problems, you can always reach out. I'd be happy to help. Happy crafting. See you soon. Bye.